Hey guys, it's Blendine here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up micro displacement for Blender. Before we get into anything, micro displacement is true displacement of a mesh, whereas bump fakes it. Alright, we're ready? Let's go. First, we're going to need a material. I'm going to go to my favourite site, cctotextures.com. You can obviously use any website as long as it comes with a displacement map. Once you've got that downloaded, extract the zip file and open up Blender. Add a mesh that you would like to add the displacement to. I'm going to use a plane. Next, head over to Render Properties and change the feature set from Supported to Experimental. Next, we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier to our plane. Tick Adaptive Subdivision. Now add a loop cut to each edge of the plane to look, make it look as it did before. Now it's time to set up your textures. Open up the shader editor. Now a quick tip here is to just press Ctrl Shift T on the principled BSDF. Then select all of your images in the file view and click principled texture setup. You'll then see that Blender sets up all your textures. It saves us a lot of time. Now, head over to the Material tab and scroll down to Settings. Where it says Displacement Bump, change that to Displacement and Bump. Now, if you head over to Rendered View, you'll see the displacement is way too harsh. So for our final step, head over back onto the Shader Editor and change the scale on the Displacement node to something like 0.01 or point, point zero 0.01, but this really depends on the scale of your scene. And that's it. As you can see, true displacement looks way better than bump. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. See you later.